Hey, it's the Roger Rooms Media Minute. Today I want to talk with you about copyright issues, especially with images. So copyright is something you need to be aware of because it's all over the place now and the laws are changing all the time. At the end of the day, what you need to make sure you understand is that if you put somebody's copywritten images onto your website without their permission, you have opened yourself up to a lawsuit and it can cost a lot of money and it can really, really ruin your day. So what I would recommend is that if you're gonna use somebody's copywritten image, make sure you're going through a service like Getty Images or Shutterstock or Dreamtime or one of these services that are out there that artists can go to and they can sell their images through. Those websites then manage the transactions, they give you digital receipts that show that you've paid for the copyright and then if there's ever an issue, you can produce that and you're in the clear. Creative Commons is kind of an answer to copyright. Pretty interesting. It's where people can give a different type of licensing to copyright. They can either still lock it down completely where you have to have full permission to use it. You, they can lock it down where you have to show attribution, which you should really do anyway. Uh, they can lock it down where you cannot use it for business use. And they can also lock it down where you can't alter the image. So you need to make sure you're reading clearly which Creative Commons license is on that image and also be aware that it can change at any time. The best thing that I suggest you do as a business owner is you get a decent camera or you hire a photographer to come and take unique original pictures that you then own. Make sure you negotiate that with the photographer that when they take those pictures, that you're gonna be owning those pictures. Some photographers don't work that way and that's their prerogative, but my highest suggestion is that as a business owner, you make sure you own those photos outright. You might have to pay a little bit more, but it resolves any conflict from ever happening. What's better yet is that if you take those pictures, you don't even have to worry about that unless you go schizophrenic and you know that's a whole different discussion. The beautiful thing then is you've got full ownership of those images, you've got completely original images, and you've got images that are completely unique to your business. So that's a beautiful, wonderful thing. I recommend going that route, but if you do use stock images, just make sure that you've got permission to use those. Emails right there, comments are down below. What do you think? Have you ever had an issue with copywritten images? Have you ever been sued or been in a lawsuit? Thank <laughs> you.